All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. Now, for this episode, I um, yeah, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Now, about six months ago, I picked up a welder. I picked up a Uni MIG 182. It's like a MIG and stick welder. And um, I don't know. I've never, never welded anything in my life. Never even attempted it. I don't even think I've ever touched a welder. But I just... It was just something I wanted to learn how to do. Figured it would be like a really good skill to have. Um, so yeah, I went and picked one up with some tax money. There was one thing that was missing in my front yard. Everything else was pretty much done as I've shown you guys. But the last piece of the puzzle was the electric sliding gate. Now, I've got like two little boys and... There's a fair bit of traffic out the front of our place, so we really wanted a gate where, you know, we could just lock them in. Keep them safe, lock them in. I'm sure they'll jump over it in a year or two, but for now, the goal was just to lock them in. So yeah, I figured it seemed like a good first project for the welder. This is the only other thing I've ever welded up. When I first bought the welder, it's just like a, a, a rectangle, just like a practice rectangle. Now, when I was designing this gate, we have a water meter that is about 2.8 meters to the left of my driveway. So I couldn't just have a normal rectangle gate that would just open to the left because it's going to hit my water meter. And I got a price off a plumber and they were saying it could easily be a couple of grand to move the water meter a couple of meters to the left. Man, I didn't want to pay a couple grand to move a water meter a meter or two to the left. So when I was designing this gate, I had to make it so the gate sort of just like slips over the water meter. And this is gonna save me thousands of dollars, but it is gonna add a little complexity to the design and the fabrication of this gate. So as usual, I jumped in a sketch up, um, I drew it all out, had the height of the water meter, the height of the gate. From there, I figured out how much steel I needed. And uh, yeah, went down to the suppliers, picked everything up and bought it back here and got started on it. Now for me, this was a bit of a mission for a first project. I feel like the hardest part of this is just measuring and cutting. Wait, I mean, not the hardest part. The most important part I think of this is measuring and cutting. And, you know, getting it square, which I feel, you know, I'm, I'm pretty decent at. Yeah, the hardest part of this is definitely the welding, which, you know, I suck at. So here I'm just taking off the gal coating with a flappy disc. Um, I read somewhere that you were meant to remove this before welding. I don't know. If that's not the case, let me know in the comments because, you know, if I could drop this step from the process, that would be great. Then the idea here was just to tack weld it. it was all tack welded together I was turning it over and doing the other side to sort of prevent it bowing um, and then I used the uh, then I used these ratchet straps to get my parallel then I used these ratchet straps to get my diagonals square once it was once I pulled it square with the ratchet straps then I proceeded to run like a proper sort of needle. I did have to cut the caster wheels into the track. So when I was buying the steel, I wasn't too sure on the thickness of the wheels, like the width of the wheels. And it turns out they were pretty much the exact same thickness. So I did have to cut the front of the steel out and insert the wheel from the front. Um, 
that was a little, you know, that wasn't ideal. That was just poor planning on my part. But um, I still feel like I should probably cover those holes up just to keep water out. But um, yeah, that's something I might add on later. So all the steel cost me around $165. Um, the timber pickets that went on the front, they cost me around $450. And um, the motor, the track, like all the gate hardware cost around $700. So all in all, I spent a little under $1,400 for all the materials for this project. Once the gate was in and it was sort of rolling on the track, then I just formed up a little concrete pad, mounted the motor to the concrete pad. I used a Richmond motor. It's a 240 volt gate motor. I'll leave it all in the description below if you guys want to pick one up. Obviously the welds kind of look like shit, but I just kind of hit them with a flappy disc and, and grinded them up. And um, you know, after some gal paint, and some touch-up paint it turned out looking all right. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I just kept hitting the remote, and the gate just kept opening and then half closing and then opening, and it just wasn't working properly. So I got. So I hit Richmond up on emails, and I was trying to figure out what the hell was happening, figuring I was doing something wrong because I've never done this before. Um, going back and forth with those guys and that were really helpful. It just turned out I had a dud motor. So I just boxed it back up, took it back to Bunnings, which, you know, is one of the benefits of buying these types of things from Bunnings. You got any dramas with it, put it in a box, take it back to Bunnings and they'll, they'll swap it on the spot. And yeah, that's what happened. I came back home, mounted it back to the slab, plugged it in, hit the remote, it worked. And that's pretty much it guys. Now, now I must say, I built a lot of stuff in my time. Like I'm constantly making things. But I don't know, something about this little gate that I've made, I just love it, it's so good. Probably because it was, um, you know, using a, a new sort of skill set that I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Um, and yeah, it was just, it's just very satisfying hitting that little remote when I'm pulling into the driveway and just having it work flawlessly every time. Brilliant. Plus the project come in a good $800 cheaper than what I was sort of budgeting in my head. Um, so there's a win for that too. And I was also telling my client about this gate that I was making. And he goes, oh, I want one of them. Can you make me one too? And so, yeah, on to gate number two. Literally the next day I went down to the steel suppliers, bought all the steel again and, and fabricated him a gate installed his using a, um, a solar kit so I'm gonna say that that is a win if you guys have any questions about this um, this gate setup the motor the tracks the wheels whatever um, yeah leave a leave a comment down below I will happily help you guys out thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one